welcome to my channel this is my first video so the first um video is going to be on gym confidence i do get asked this quite a lot as a personal trainer i am a qualified personal trainer i get asked how i have the confidence to go into the gym or how can i build the confidence to come to the gym and to be honest that is all down to experience and um, confidence will come with experience and um doing it for a longer period of time I'm going to talk generally just about um, how to prepare yourself for going to the gym, so how to build your confidence up going to the gym. But then I have five top tips um, on how to feel confident in the gym, so actually going to the gym, in the gym specifically, and yeah. So I've got little notes down here, that's why I keep looking down. Oh, also I've got my pyjamas on, so if they just keep popping in the video then just let me know I've got them on starting the gym after quarantine so quarantine is literally such it's a blessing in disguise i believe within within this circumstance so there are a lot of online classes and um, a lot of online free classes that you can access in um, live obviously you don't get help on how to perform exercises um but it is just a way just to get into exercise and getting used to exercising um at home also, quarantine's a good time to practice exercises so you can watch millions of YouTube videos um, helping you out how to squat properly, how to deadlift properly, how to perform, you know, a perfect bicep curl, etc. Like every exercise, there will be a video on it. Watch them videos, take 10 minutes out of your day, practice it. Also, coming back to the gym from quarantine um, in regards to people that have already be in the gym are confident in the gym and they are starting just to get back into it and there will be um you know things that they would have learned just before they'd left the gym before the gym shut or people who just got in the mode of doing it so everyone is going back for the first time um so don't feel don't feel embarrassed about that because everyone's kind of in the same boat so last thing you know for the general tips um don't put pressure on yourself so don't compare yourself to other people. Other people have been training a lot longer. Um, they've also had a lot more experience. Um, if this is your first time in the gym, then this is your first time in the gym. They've had their first time. They've had this feeling that you're feeling. Um, and also, um, comparing yourself to other people will make you want to start because they didn't go to the gym with that body um, to start out with. They went to the gym to achieve that body. So you just need to keep that in mind. I know it's hard to not compare yourself to other people when all these people are looking amazing in the gym but yeah so moving on to my five top tips um, on how to gain gym confidence or to feel more confident whilst in a gym environment so my tip number one is to plan a workout plan your workout step by step how many reps how many sets even the rest time so like one minute rest and you do not exceed that you don't go underneath that you follow that program religiously throughout your time in the gym um but also make sure that you're choosing comfortable exercises so don't be choosing something new to start out with so if you're at home and you can practice these exercises um or you're doing a little hit workout go to the gym and try and do that hit workout and then maybe each session gradually add in a new workout into the plan um, to learn so maybe even learn at home when you feel confident to come to the gym and perform it there I would also suggest when you're planning your workout and executing it in the gym to do it in places maybe you'd feel uncomfortable doing it so find a plan that's really comfortable for you you know you can do it and um, go to an area of the gym a lot of the time it is the weight section and um, the men's section it's not the men's section anyway um yeah so go there um, and just perform the exercises there um, and you will feel more confident doing exercises you know in that environment so in that part of the gym my tip number two is to go with a friend so i started out going to the gym with my brother and um, he's three years older than me he was young at the time also and didn't know you know everything um, but he knew more than what I knew. He just went to the gym with his friend and learnt new things and um, got more confident and then was able to help me and assist me with exercises. If you have a friend that goes to the gym already, maybe go with them. Ask if they can help you perform an exercise or to, you know, teach you how to squat or to teach you how to deadlift. 
they are really complex um, movements to do so they might take a while for you to do and I want you to understand that that is a long process but if you don't have someone that goes to the gym already you don't have someone to show you the exercises just go with a friend um because if you do something wrong or you don't really know what you're doing it's nice to have that comfort blanket there someone that you can have a little laugh with like oh my god how do you use that and like you know have a little giggle with and it's not as daunting you don't feel embarrassed as much it's kind of like oh god how do we do this and then you'll move on like it's literally just so much more comfortable to have someone to talk to to have someone to laugh with if you do something wrong or you know even just trying out a machine it's just nicer to have someone there to to test the machine with you and um, so they can you know assist each other like oh look it says this on the side maybe we should do it like this but yeah so it's just so much better and comfortable to go with a friend number three is to take earphones like oh my goodness I do not know how people train without earphones. Like, it literally blows them. How can you train without earphones? Like, I feel naked without them. When you have earphones and even when I start a new gym, I feel like, oh my goodness, I don't know where anything is. All these new people. I don't know what this machine does. I don't know what that machine does. But having earphones is put you in your own little bubble. It gives you a, a sense of confidence and maybe even comfort because you're listening to songs that you know um and it is kind of like a comfort blanket again um to have that in your ear also again as i said it puts you in your own little bubble um, and it makes you feel quite safe um and that you're not really focusing on other people around you or other noises around you you're just listening to the obviously the music that's in your ears um, but literally a godsend like so underrated for starting the gym and building confidence in the gym number four is to ask a member of staff ask a member of staff i work in um a gym now and i just know that if i was in a position where i didn't know how to do something and i asked a member of staff and they told me like you would feel so much better within yourself because you won't be questioning if you're doing it right you're more confident using that machine next time because this personal trainer or this fitness instructor or even just you know a member of staff that goes to the gym or even just someone else in the gym you've seen them do a deadlift oh can you just teach me a few tips on the deadlift please and um, because i'm not comfortable with it it literally will save you so much time in the gym teaching it yourself when somebody else more experience could teach her how to do it um but yeah like they are there to help they are personal trainers and you're getting their service for free a lot of people pay for personal trainers which is amazing it's such a good investment you're investing in your health your fitness and your well-being by investing in a personal trainer but if that's not for you or you can't afford that you could ask a personal trainer in the gym how to do an exercise and they will tell you for free like i don't think people realize how big of a, a deal that is that a personal trainer who knows what they're doing can teach you teach you something for free you're getting the service for free so yeah ask a member of staff um, and my last tip number five is to just believe in yourself to build confidence you just need to start you just need to believe that you can do it and just go to the gym start in the gym you can start at home and then move on to the gym but you just need to start in any way shape or form even if that's for you to start doing 10 sit-ups a night you're starting somewhere and um, but just make sure you're making progress all the time and believe that you can do it um, just don't compare yourself to other people other people have had so much more experience than you um, they've had the time to develop and able to do these exercises two years from now you would have been like oh my goodness i'll be two years into my experience i'll be two years more experienced in the gym why didn't i start two years ago start now two years time six months time you'll be so much more thankful that you started that time ago than waiting you know six months or i'll, I'll wait another six months quarantine's a perfect time now as i said again to actually really practice exercises practice things that you're comfortable with practice making your own little program chat to pts online you can dm me ask me how you know what exercise would be good for this what exercises would be good for this goal um but yeah just actually try and get help learn now while we've got the time in quarantine um to develop yourself develop um investing in yourself in your own well-being in your own fitness in your own 
lifestyle i just think it's really important to invest in your health and what a better time to do it now to to start now so then when it does come to the end of quarantine to the end of lockdown you you're ready or you you know you're more ready than you would be if this didn't happen um to come and do an exercise in the gym um but yeah um so that was my five tips for gym confidence i hope that you enjoyed this video um and hopefully there will be more to come um, if you did like the video, I would really appreciate it if you hit the like button and subscribe if you would like to. But yeah, I will see you next time. Bye.